The biggest market for currency exchange. This is a famous meal, pasta, the Italian pasta. Somali people are nice, and I'm sure we all have Somali friends around the world. But today we're going deep into their culture, their food, and their lifestyle. Their language is different, and a lot of them speak Arabic. They are all Somali. Somali people are located in these areas of the world, in Eastern Africa, in the Horn of Africa. And it's a dream that all Somalis are in one country. However, foreign invasions separated them and tribal conflicts. The present Somali nation was created in 1960 by merging two former colonies, Italian Somalia and British Somaliland. Today we arrived there in the north, to be exact. Somaliland or Republic of Somaliland. Chilling. To get to know this hidden part of Somalia or the Somali dream. We gotta have banana in everything. No really? questions asked. Nobody recognizes them. My name is Samia. I uh, moved here about a year and a half ago. I've kind of just been done with Canada and rediscovering my roots, my homeland. She's from Somaliland. Yes, welcome to Somaliland. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Somaliland's an unrecognized country. We've been a country for 31 years. Similar to Taiwan, yeah, how it's an unrecognized region. North and South Somalia got their independence in 1960 and got united as the Republic of Somalia. But Djibouti got independent from France in 1977 and didn't join Somalia, though most of its people are Somali. In 1969, there was a coup d'etat. Mohamed Siad Bari ruled Somalia with communism, killed scientists and opponents and ruled Somalia for 20 years until all people and tribes rebelled against him and they sacked his regime in 1991. After 18 years, only because Somalia was not in agreement to certain desire of the Soviet Union, Somalia had to be banished. Is that a seriety of a state? No. Somalia was friend. Somalia was not dependent. Then tribes ran for ruling and power in a civil war that tore Somalia apart. Northern Somalia got independent into a country named Somaliland, Republic of Somaliland. Since then, this country's unrecognized country is living in peace and serenity, with a government and a parliament. Meanwhile, southern Somalia is in a state of instability and trouble. Gentlemen. We'll start with the open currency market. The biggest market for currency exchange. Wide open in the streets, you won't see it anywhere else. They exchange currency in the street. This market is unusual, it's an open market. You're gonna be a millionaire today. Yeah. <laughs> a whole market. Everyone is buying and selling currency. This is Somaliland shooting in weddings and celebrations, they need cash, and people here rarely use cash because it's a weak currency that's frequently printed and counterfeited. A lot of people are using mobile payment now, which is the easiest way. So you can pay directly from your phone to his account. Well, yeah, sir. Wait, you didn't bet anything? No, I already typed it in, like I texted uh, a number to him. We all have our own mobile money transfer system and it's actually one of the best in the world because anyone can use it and you're not being charged a surcharge. You can help her with your phone. She has a paper with her account number. You can transfer directly to her. Everywhere, in markets, in shops, with your phone, even here you can weigh yourself and pay. Look at the number. I can take money out of my phone, send it to him and he'll give me cash in return. You open an account with a telecommunication company, get a simple phone, no need for internet, put money in your account and pay with it. That company became like a bank. 
this is a hundred dollars. Imagine. Some places in this country, people leave money and gold in the street. Just cover? Yep, they just cover it like that and they go pray. He only covered it with a prayer rug. Top secret. So when you go to pray, you keep the money here? Yes. It's safe? Always, yes. It's safe without even. One cool shell high Somali people. Yes. We love you. Look how they knock on doors. In <laughs> Somalia. Welcome to Somaliland. We are very pleased to see you guys here. Moseli dance, which is originated from Sela. Walking down the street, we stop at a tent where they make coffee, coming from Ethiopia. Yeah, this is really popular street food. It's called Fadira. We went out to try food in the streets at night. Okay, now as you see, this is a street food pie. Everything Somalis eat has bananas, unusual. And they add eggs and chicken and they cut them in front of you. <laughs> and this is a Somali pie from Djibouti. This is food from Djibouti and Yemeni. And there's still more yet to come. The food trip was different to any other place in the world. I'm new to all this food, and the different food names are also new to me. Alright, we're having the most famous breakfast Somali meals, sweet pancakes and liver. <laughs> then you pour it like this. Really? Yeah, but I love tea with milk. You do it like this. In the name of Allah. You eat every morning? Every morning. Right after Fajr, so 6.30? Now, as you see, guys, street food here, we're at a restaurant in Hargisa. Now, this is a famous meal, pasta, the Italian pasta, because Italians used to be here. Somali pasta, if you try to tell me. Somali spaghetti. And bananas. Don't forget bananas. No question. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. Their banana culture is interesting. Somaliland bring bananas from Mogadishu, from the south and Somalia is among the biggest exporters in Africa and possibly in the world. Bananas, you have to add it. This is called sabayat. It's like a pie, they sell it in the street. It's in our history. We as shepherds in deserts and tough places, we take this with us. It remains with us for two, three or even four weeks. Most of the meat here is from camels, because the camel market is among the biggest in the world after Egypt and Saudi Arabia. Also milk, camel milk every morning. Trade. It used to be open to the world, trade-wise, and livestock is the basis. We went there to see camels, so that nobody knows the price they cover it. <laughs> Least expensive $200, most expensive $1,500. He covers it and shakes my hand like this. And resources in Somalia come mostly from Somali immigrants in other countries when they send money to their families here. This is the cultural hub, place you can get culture food, see the culture and enjoy the breeze. That's camel milk, camel meat, corn and beans.
this soup here called sugu and digir. Camels everywhere. We're sitting here and camels are going around us. Also, when we were in the car. Camels. Even behind us. In the background, camel in Somali. Gil. Just like this, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mahsini. Love you guys. Camel tea. Camel milk. Camel meat. <laughs> Dried camel meat. It's called muqmad. They have the culture of kat, a tonic plant that they bring from Ethiopia. This is kat. Kat is a lot here, huh? Yeah. They sell it in these shops. This is a cat market, a cat market where they sell it in different varieties like this one. This is kind of like a tonic. A tonic? Yeah. The Yemenis use it in working hours. They use it like this. It's used a lot here and also in Yemen. Somali camel milk tea. In the last day, we went to an area that has engravings from Thamud days. Las Gil. Yep, we have our officer here with us. Uh, any foreigner traveling outside or between cities, if you're crossing a border checkpoint, you have to have an officer with you. Protect? Yeah. They say these drawings are more than 5,000 years old. Can you believe it? Slowly comes the wind so fast Overtakes the valley In the middle of the desert, they built it from recycled clothes. Wood covered with clothes. Actual clothes, look. It's that. Isra, mashallah. And this one? Igra. Igra or Isra? Yeah, it's been her generations for years that have been living here. So she's just been passed down this land. So what she eat or drink here? This is uh, camel milk, goat milk. Isra or Igra? Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, we got out of Hargisa, the capital. There are other cities also. We went out and drove about two hours until we reached the coast. Yeah. The ocean. This city is called Berbera. We went to the coastal city in Somaliland. It's called Berbera like it's port. Of course, it's very close to Yemen, which contributes to the economy, exporting to Saudi Arabia and other countries. This is called Burta Sheikh, so Mountain of Sheikh. That's the name. And we suddenly came to a mountains area. In the end, we want to thank Samia, for all the time she spent with us. We want to we wanna say thank you. This is iPhone. No. <laughs> no, yeah, really. No. Are you kidding me? Yeah. No. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just shocked. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. <laughs> you didn't watch the video. I clearly didn't. <laughs> Somalia, we'll visit you in Mogadishu.